Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Ryder, all saying known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with bilateral, fully occluding, very dry encrusted earwax. Um, they suffer from bilateral otitis externa. So the term bilateral makes reference to both ears and otitis externa is an umbrella term given to an infection and or inflammation or itchiness of the outer ear. And we're just in this patient's left ear and this really dry wax and keratin plug, um, it's not really budging with um, the zone suction probe. So we're performing micro suction. So I've just installed some olive oil spray. The spray that I use, it's called Clear. Um, and if you're a member of the public and you want to purchase some olive oil ear spray to help soften your wax or to help um, hydrate and lubricate your ear canal, you can purchase it from our website. We're only shipping in the UK. The website is www.clearwax.co.uk and if you're an ear care specialist and you want to stock the clear olive oil spray that I use, you can register to our website. So visit our website on the same email um, web link. Um, select sign in and then register as a professional and it gives you access to our trade shop. So um, continuing with the micro suction, but it's still very hardened and um, adhered to the ear canal wall. That's why I'm making these little wriggle movements, trying to dislodge and separate the wax from the canal. But I think, if my memory serves me correct, I'm going to use an ear hook in a moment and I'm going to prise this out. So yeah, I think this is the moment when I insert an ear hook and I'm just going to embed the tip into the core of this hardened plug. Just want to get a bit deeper and then I'm slowly going to bring this out. I was hoping that when I extracted this um, plug of dry wax and uh, keratin dead skin, that it'll come out in one big piece. And that was quite a substantial piece there. However, the patient still had quite a lot of residual wax and skin deep in the ear. And this is a bit softer. Um, so I resorted back to performing microsuction and it's right up against the eardrum. So you wouldn't really want to use a hook this deep in the ear because you'd come in contact with the bony part of the ear canal and also potentially the eardrum, which would be very sensitive and uncomfortable. And it's just trapped in the inferior recess. So I'm going to go in a moment to the bottom and lift, lift it up and away. And I've just put some more olive oil spray, not too much, just enough at the bottom here. Because I'm going to target this bottom here and I'm going to get a suction grip and I'm going to lift up and away and just tease it off the eardrum. There we are. Now once you'll see in a moment, um, there appeared to be a bit of wax still stuck on the front part of the ear canal near the eardrum, what we call the anterior medial canal wall, just there. But in, under close inspection, you'll see, I went, actually went in with the suction probe in a moment. It's actually some bruising. So I asked the patient whether they've been poking in their ears and they, they said yes. So the wax plug got really squashed and it just caused a bit of trauma to the side of the ear canal wall. But it was quite um, difficult to uh, decipher whether it is, was wax and therefore should I approach it with the suction probe or if it was some bruising. Fortunately, uh, I redrew the suction probe because if I touched that, it would have been really uncomfortable for the patient and they might have flinched and I might have perforated the eardrum, who knows. So you can see I went and then I just thought better of it. I just had a closer look and I thought, no, that's definitely not wax. It's just um, just a bit of swelling, a bit of edema. That should settle. So I'm just going to mop up around the entrance here, some crusted skin. You can see the patient's got very elongated ear canals, very slit. Um, so all of our ear canals, the height is greater than the width. But in this particular patient, the height is it's much more greater and significantly longer than the, the width of the ear canal and it gives it this oval shape um, as opposed to a bit more circular and spherical shape. So I'm just using the fine end suction probe here, just trying to get as much of this crusted skin away. Now the patient is suffering from menopause, they're going through menopause and um, they relate their symptoms to be, uh, the onset of the symptoms to coincide with their menopause and if you've been watching my videos I've got a, quite a few videos specifically on this but uh, I feel that there is a, a link between menopause and patients with really dry skin in the ears, right, um, who's also experienced itchiness and irritation. Um, it's mainly anecdotal. It's something that I've just come across through my clinic. Um, a lot of 
female patients of a certain age, whether either going through perimenopause or menopause itself. And it's around that time when they also experience these problems with their ears. Uh, I had a few patients who have now gone through menopause and come out the other side and their ear symptoms have completely been eradicated. So it's great news. Uh, so if you do suffer from itchy ears um, and you are going uh, through menopause or perimenopause, do you have your ears examined? Because it could be a build up of skin, uh, wax like this. And there can be some help available in terms of obviously having it removed or just using some of this clear olive oil ear spray that I'm using. See, another benefit of the olive oil spray, it's not just to soften ear wax or to, in a way, remove the wax. If you use it on a regular basis, that's possible, but not always. But it helps, as I said, oil helps to um, hydrate and lubricate the, the skin. So it prevents it from drying and cracking. So it can be very helpful for patients who suffer from menopause. The eardrum's nice and healthy there. They're the the crusted uh, keratin and wax plugs. I hope you enjoyed that video. Do stay tuned. I've got loads more to upload in the next few days and weeks. And I hope you're all taking care of yourselves. Thank you. Bye.